Sorry for having to deceive you like this. And now that you know who I really am, what are you going to do about it? To look after your things. What are you doing here? Here's a torch. Just in case you get scared. Atenyi. The MC is going to show us how it works. And I am responsible for the machine. Only it's usage. If I destroy this machine, Bukwasi is going to be in very big trouble. Don't destroy that machine. Bukwasi. This is not time to play games. I have some very important work to do and in a given period of time. I'm not playing games, but there's something wrong here. Look at the machine carefully. Mukwasi, if this is some plot to try and frustrate or delay my work, let me be playing with you. It won't succeed. James, we might have our own differences, but I'm incapable of doing such a thing. Now look at this machine carefully. But what is it? What do you see? Oh my god. Somebody must have messed up with these connections. Uh -uh. I don't want to imagine what would have happened if I had switched on the machine. My goodness. What is this? Do not be afraid. I mean no harm. What are you doing here? I, I do not talk to people. I do not know. Calm down. Calm down. I will introduce myself. I am Francis. I own the carpentry workshop across. I just came in to collect my car jack. Now tell me who you are and what you are doing here. I am called Akiki. I came to see my brother Atenyi. He did not have a place for me to sleep, so he brought me here. You mean Atenyi the electrician? Yes, he's my brother. Are you sure? His father and my father are brothers. And he let you? His sister, come and spend the night in this dirty and safe storeroom. You see, he is sharing his house with his friend Rudolf. They did not have space for me. Nonsense. Rudolf and Atene do not live together. Rudolf lives in Kavanda's garage, and Atene rents a Muzigo downtown. Atene, living in a Muzigo. You, you are joking, you don't know Atenyi. Atenyi is very rich. Even when he comes to the village, he comes self-driving his car. And you're here telling me he lives in a musigo. No, no, no. Is that what he tells you? Hmm? That he's a rich man? Look, Makiki. Atenyi is not what you think he is. He would be rich, all right, if only he took his work seriously. But he's simply lazy. He would earn very good income as an electrician. But he just doesn't care about his work. Now, what we need to do is to get you a decent place to spend a night. Now, come with me. Me? Go with you? Uh-uh. You can't stay here. You can't stay in this storeroom. It can be very dangerous. I'll take you somewhere safe. Me, I don't know you. I fear. I'm beaten. Who do you think would have done such a thing? Do you think Daudi could have done it? What would he have gained by this? And besides, he lacks the mental capacity to work this out. You have not used this machine since it was brought, have you? No. Why? Did you check it properly? Maybe this is how it was brought here? No way. There's no way Francis would have missed seeing those messy wires. You are lucky the machine is still in good working order. I'm afraid not. The inside must have been fixed as well. Then you must inform Francis immediately. No. I'll first have a tenure to look at it. If you say so, but we must sort this issue out. You know what? I get a premonition that this machine wasn't the target. It was me. I stop being so paranoid, James. Why would someone want to destroy you? That is precisely my question. Why? Ah. 
Look, Akiki, I am a very respectable person around here. You should trust me. He told me men can trick girls in the city. Me, I don't know. By the way, tell me, what brought you to town? I came to take care of Atenji's house when he goes to America. Atenji is only dreaming about America, and there is no house for you to keep. He decided to bring you here because he's too ashamed to let you see his humble dwelling place. He has nothing. Like I said before, he doesn't have what it takes to make good money in his profession. What about the car he comes driving in the village? Nonsense. Anybody can buy a car to go to the village. It's not a big deal. Tell me, Ateni is a big liar. Well, now that you know the truth, are you going to make up your mind and come with me or not? James and Mukwasi will soon close the carpentry workshop and you will remain alone in this dingy storeroom. The choice is yours. I don't know what to do. Suit yourself. And good night. Wait! Hey, Ronnie. Good morning. You're late. You've already missed two clients. Yeah, I was caught up in a traffic jam at Top Tower. We no longer use that as an excuse. Everybody knows about traffic jams. You just have to get up a bit earlier if you're to get anywhere on time. Otherwise, you'll keep on losing business. As if you who was here earlier is doing something. You just sit there doing nothing and you have the gas of telling me that I'm late. I am balancing my books and that is not nothing. Balancing books for what? You know, that is really funny coming from you, a whole diploma graduate from Chambogo. Now, what has balancing books got to do with my diploma? Wouldn't you want to know your weekly or your monthly turnover? Turnover? What the hell are you talking about? I mean, the amount of business you've done over a given period of time in monetary terms. Let me tell you something, my friend. I am an electrical engineer, not a business manager. So what are you doing, running a workshop? You know, you're beginning to sound like a woman. Now where did that come from? They're the ones who are always fond of looking out for the nitty gritty of everything. Even in a relationship, they're always fussing over small things that don't have any bearing on any relationship. Now you're an authority on women, huh? Let me tell you something, mister. You know nothing, absolutely nothing, about women. What you know about women is as much as you know about doing business. <laughs> oh yeah. And you, of all people, hmm? you would know about women. Hmm? You'd be surprised. Anyway, let me get back to accounting. You know what? You're beginning to sound like a boss around here. But let me remind you of a simple fact. I have a license. You don't. Now, if you want to behave like a real man and stop acting like a woman, eh, you should start thinking of getting one. Or else... Or else what? James, oh. what happened? Did, uh, is anything wrong with this thing? No, I'm just taking it to Atene. What happened? Did it blow up? Blown up? Was well, it supposed to blow up? If, if, if you're taking it to Atene, then something must be wrong. Well, something funny is happening around here. Someone is trying to sabotage my work. Sabotage your work? Yeah. What for? Someone tried to blow up the machine. And blowing up this machine would mean a lot of trouble for me. Ah, that is Mukwasi. You know Mukwasi was not happy when they gave you that deal. I also thought so at first. 
But then I realized, he is the one who stopped me from switching on the machine and blowing it up. You know what, James? You are a good man. I'm going to keep a very close watch so that no one messes you up. Thank you, Dawoodi. I didn't know you care that much. I'm going to help you with the doors. That's a bit technical. I need someone professional to help me. Ronnie, you don't respect some other post offices. You just knock and enter. I'm sorry, sir. Um, my mind was preoccupied, but I didn't mean to be rude. What can I do for you? Have a seat. Thank you. Sir, I've been thinking about my business lately, and it's beginning to grow. I would like to have it established. What's the problem? I would like to have it registered and get a trading license as well. For well, what? So, I intend to let my business grow and I cannot keep on relying on individual clients. I need to attract companies and they do not do business with you if you are not registered. <laughs> Rosie, go back to your place of work. Here nobody asks for such things. Mr. Silver, my dream goes beyond the confines of this again. <laughs> I do intend to set up one of the most elaborate, modern metalwork establishments of this in this country. And I cannot do that illegally. Ronnie, I'm a foreman here. What I care is collecting rent. You pay rent well, good registration, licenses, trading license, and the like is not my business. I know, sir. I was hoping that I'd get advice from you accordingly, but thank you for your time. Yeah, hey, Kiki. Yeah, I'd almost forgotten about you. How was your night? I'll see if you care. Aki, who has upset you? You make one spend a night in a dirty storeroom with rats and where anybody can come in at any time and attack me and you're here asking me how I spend my night. Look, Aki, I didn't intend to make you uncomfortable. It's just that you came without warning me. If you had told me you're coming in advance, I would have made arrangements for you. <laughs> so you wanted me to give you enough time to borrow a friend's house and pretend that it belongs to you, eh? Now, what the hell are you talking about? Don't think I don't know about your lies, I tell you. <laughs> you live in a big house when you're living in a muzigo. Me? I know everything. Hmm? I tell you. I'm sorry I didn't know you had company. I'll talk to you later. You can see him now. I am oh, going. You, you're not going anywhere. Uh, James, look, I'll see you uh, as soon as I'm through with this. Now, take your time. Now you, tell me, who have you been talking to? I've been talking to the rats you left me to spend the night with. You didn't spend the night in the storeroom, did you? And don't tell me lies. What lies? Huh? At least I don't borrow people's cars and then go to the village and pretend that they belong to me. Now you're going to tell me who has been telling you those lies. What lies? That you going to America is only in your dreams? <laughs> had some work to do. And what happened? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? Did you fix the machine just like I told you? I did, but they found out. I don't know how. Boy, I want that machine blown up today. Silver, if I blow up that machine, I'm going to put James into trouble. And he's a good guy. I don't care about James. James is not my father. He's only my brother. He's nothing to me. At the end of the day, Mukwas is going to be in charge as well. But James hasn't done anything wrong to us. Why destroy him? You are beginning to get a chicken heart, you fool. If you don't do what I say, you, you regret. You seem to have a passion for guinea, Ronnie. 
What's the secret? Nothing. There's nothing special about them. They're just like any other edibles. No, I hear they boost one's libido. Some sort of aphrodisiac. I don't know about that. You wouldn't know? Hey, why are you pissed off? James, why are you doing this to me? Doing what? Let's not play games. You know exactly who I am. Why are you keeping quiet? It's none of my business. You're a big girl. Don't call me a girl. I'm sorry. What I was saying is that you're big enough to know what you're doing. Why should I intervene? My name is Akabiri Hogadson. My job is a senior butcher. The best thing a customer has ever said, he was looking for a piece of meat which he had failed to get around Kampara. I gave it him, he was very happy, and I feel proud of that. I've had vocational training. The benefits of vocational training has been getting better skills, qualification, Certificate, pride, and a good salary. I like it. I'm proud to be a senior butcher. Sorry, you just came in at the wrong time. I come here looking for you to come and repair the electricity in my restaurant, and this is what I get. I'll never set foot in this place again. Madame Manglin, don't go like that. I can explain. What is there to explain? You hit an old woman fit to be your mother, and you tell me you can explain? Okay, I'll come and repair whatever you wanted me to repair, free of charge. And you think that will take away the pain you have caused? Kale, you can really despise people. <laughs> You. It is you who has brought all this upon me. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have hit Madame Mangling. This is your entire fault. My fault? And what did I do for you to want to hit me, hmm? Tell me. I tell you, my telling you the truth about yourself is what is making you want to beat me. What about us who've been telling lies all these years? You think we are not people? Akik, I want you out of this town immediately. And who are you to order me around, eh? Are you the one who brought me here? I'll go and I want to go. And where do you think you're going? Are you the one who looked after me last night? I'll come back to say goodbye. Ateni, yeah? I seriously need your help. Man, not now. No, I cannot wait. I'm in serious trouble. Look, James, there's something I have to catch right now. Ateni, you're my only savior. Okay, what's up? Make it snappy. You know the machine Francis bought? Yeah, what about Someone it? Someone messed up with it. James. This is a little bit complicated. It will, it will take days. No, I can't afford the days. Francis has trusted me with this deal and I can't afford to disappoint him. Ask Mukwas to help you. Mukwas, he can't. He needs a professional like you to repair this machine. Okay, uh, why don't you leave it in the workshop? I'll have a look at it later. But now I have to run. No, I can't wait. James, please! Please! Don't seem to have any customers today. At this time, this place is not busy. But one hour from now, this place will be full and I'll run around like a mad woman. <laughs> Why like a mad woman? I'm alone here now. I had to let Natalia go and work in the saloon. I really need someone to come and help me here. Why can't you put out a notice for a waiter or waitress? I'm sure there are many people out there who are interested. Hey, Kale, I had not thought about that. Uh. I'll ask James to print me a notice on his computer. James? He has his own problems now. He has to finish Francis' work and the machine was given his out of Why don't you help him? He's a good boy. I want to help him, but he must first ask me. I know you, Mukwasi. You are a very understanding man. You helped my son, Daudi. I know you'll also help James. Shall see. There's nothing to see Mukwasi, just help the boy. In fact, he's the one I'm looking at to take my Natalia. 
instead of that stupid attorney who goes around beating old women. You're a good man, Mukwas. And I know it. Are we alone? Yeah, like you can see, it's just the two of us. Good. I need to talk to you. About what? I need you to make me a promise, will you? It depends on what I have to promise. I want you to keep my true identity to yourself. You don't need to ask that. I told you from the beginning, that is between me and you. Period. No strings attached? Hey, what about friendship? Okay, but not more than that. Why? Are you so vulnerable? No. I know what I'm doing. Well, this might not be my business. But as one friend to another, I'd like to know, why do you do all this masquerading? James, this is a male-dominated society. I can't seem to get what I want as a woman, and yet I can get the same thing pretending to be a man. Even the clients, if they knew I was a woman, they wouldn't be giving me the orders they do. I don't want to buy this. You are very good at your work. People want results, not who has done what. As long as you can deliver, no one is ever going to give a damn whether you're a woman or not. James, that is because you've not seen this discriminative world from a woman's point of view. Maybe I haven't. But when are you ever going to prove it to us that you can be as good as us or even better when you keep on masquerading as men? For how long are you going to let Ronnie take the credit of what is rightfully yours? Think about it. You are going back to Kidukuru and that's it. I don't want to hear anything else. You think you can control everybody the way you like? Let me tell you, I'm not a young guy. I can do what I want if I like. Okay, here is more money. Hmm? Go and buy some things for the people in the village and tell them that they're from me. You really think you can continue telling lies with me, yeah? Ah, man, the taxi is waiting for you, both before they leave you. Now, what is it? You're wasting my time. They're going to leave you. If they want, they can come here. I'm not going. What? I have changed my mind. I'm staying. Ah, uh, wait. Wait, wait. Hey, taxi. Wait. Wait, she's going. Now, what the hell do you think you're doing? I am going to stay with you. I don't go back to the village. Okay. Here. Let me give you all the money that I have. That's it. That's all I have. Now go back to Kidukuru and don't say anything about my lifestyle, okay? And I'll send you more money to keep that big mouth of yours shut. Thank you. But I'm not only interested in money. Now what else do you want, you conniving fool? I don't like the way you're talking to me, Ateni. You want me to go back to Kidukuru right now and tell them what I know about you? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. Well, you're just in time. Your last piece of work is ready. You may have a look at it. Boy, this is exquisite. You are really talented. I'm going to make sure that all my associates know about you. Thank you very much. I'll be very grateful for every contact you forward to me. You don't have to thank me. Thank the gods that give you that talent. Well, I have a confession to make though. I have this colleague, a girl to be precise, who comes in every once in a while to help out. I hope you don't mind her. Why should I? I don't care whether it's done by you or her. As long as I get that kind of product, I'll send my driver over to pick them. Have a good day. Damn these doors. How is one going to beat the deadline? Ah. <laughs> Daudi, come over here. I want you to play this board, no mistake. 
I'm sure you could use an extra hand. Oh, thank you, Mokwasi. What games are you playing? Huh? When you see me, do I look like I'm playing games? Now, what do you want? Huh? Get me a job. What? A job? You heard me. What can you do? That's for you to find out. You got your insufferable. I tell you, I don't like those big, big words you keep using on me, which I don't understand. You should start treating me nicely. Then I'll keep quiet and I'll not tell everybody about your lies. You guys are missing out on some action in the metal action. Rudolf, we are very busy. Busy? Can you please give us some space? Do you know what is happening in the metal action? What? Fire! Come and see for yourselves. Fire. Veronica? What? Just laughed at me and leave it. No, I said leave it. No, Ron was my friend. You, I don't know who you are. I wish I could believe you. <laughs> you could bring in a barber when you start coming here. Yeah, yeah thank you. For what? This. I'm looking for a job for a kick. We will find something for you. Ah, uh, you see, my cousin a kick needs a job. Eh? 